Hello, and welcome to another Greylog technical video. In this short video, I want to go over the idea of exporting content packs if you were going to do a Greylog backup. You might use this if you were moving from a free enterprise license over to something of a more robust installation with multiple different deployments. But you want to take a lot of the features that you have, such as maybe like your dashboards that you have pre-built, that have all your nice widgets the way that you want them, and you want to export them so you can use them again without spending all that time recreating them. So to do that, there's something called Content Packs up in the System menu. If I go up to the Content Packs here and select them, you'll see that they have a big list of ones that are currently available, as well as ones with the green installed, which means it's actually been installed on the system. By default, you'll get the default Grok patterns installed on, on your systems. Now, if you wanted to create a backup of everything that you've done, you come up here to create a Content Pack. You'll see that it does require a name, and you can say Backup and Summary, maybe say full or gray log backup. And then you can, you know, the vendor can be yourself. You'll notice as soon as you type in this, um, you'll see all this details over here get modified. There is a unique ID that is needed. That way we can't install multiple content packs. And if you guys want to publish this to some known URL for your company, you can put that URL in there too, just so it's always documented inside of there. Now, once you get down here, you pick which ones you want to back up. You know, at front, I showed a dashboard around Microsoft Windows. But if you want to back them all up, you can just select the whole lot there. Um, the Grok patterns are usually pretty default on both systems or on all your systems. But you can, if you create your own Grok patterns, select the individual ones too. In my deployment here, I haven't modified any Grok patterns. Uh, but I have created some new inputs. You know, after time, you'll create different inputs, maybe for different types of devices or your different agents. You can go ahead and select those as well. Um, lookup adapters is key. Uh, if you look at the lookup adapters, if you maybe are modifying data or bouncing something off a database of known assets, you want to grab these as well. Now, the only thing to keep in mind is a lot of times the adapters themselves, while they're listed here, they do have a back-end data source. It could be a CSV file. It could be a database or something similar. So you want to make sure that you're copying that file. That's not part of the content pack export, but all the configuration of where that file exists is. And I'll show you that at the end if I know where to find those, if, if you forgot. So once you select all the different parts in here that you want to get, I'm going to go through and pick all the ones that I like. Um, look at all these. The other ones to keep in mind is the streams. A lot of different content packs, when you export those, will keep this all messages. Again, this is a default stream that every Greylog instance has. So when you import that, make sure that you're not going to overwrite your current all messages. Um, so you don't have to select that one. What you'll notice is sometimes here, if you click Next, it'll go ahead and put everything that we we're going to grab. Here's all the different dashboards that I had, some of the Grok patterns um, that are automatically included. So if, because I didn't check that Grok pattern up front and it's in here, it means some other content pack required that in order to be brought in. So it does bring in everything that's required. And at the very bottom here, you'll see that it does have this all messages. So something is uh, including that. And if you click on the show, um, you can then see the different parts of, of where that might be included. Once you get to here, you can click on the next side um, and then export this out. So I can say create or create and download if you want to save that off. So if I say create and download, you'll see it does give you a JSON file. I can then download that and save that file. And then once you get ready to re-import that, you can come up here on your new installation and click upload. You'd point it to that content pack and then it would show up here as the default one. So if I go to the very end, it'll be a backup. You'll see here that it has all my details that I've had. It does talk about the different things that it might need. Like mine does require the enterprise plugin as well as Greylog itself at a certain version. And then here you can see that there's, you can download that or what we'll probably want to do, once you upload that to your new install, is click install there. It will then upload everything, give you all your dashboards again, give you all your parsing rules, etc. Now I did mention those lookup tables. So if you don't know if you have those, you can come into the system menu, you go to lookup tables. Um, the lookup table itself is what you reference in the pipeline rule but the thing you want to check is underneath your data adapters. So underneath the data adapter, I have a couple here, a lookup error code. And you can see here in this file path is where I'm pulling it from. So you'll want to make sure that you also copy that file off the current installation and put that in the same location on the new installation. 
you can always come in here and edit it if you guys want to move that during deployment. All right, so there's a quick overview about how to find all your data sets inside the content packs, create a one content pack that's a backup, also monitoring for your lookup tables and your data sets, and keep in mind that all messages stream as well, so you're not overriding it and having multiple all messages. I hope that helps a little bit. If you have any questions, please let us know. And as always, happy logging.